ready? All right, so what's your name? Uh, my name's Anthony Truess. Anthony, and you're the manager here? I am, general manager, yes. So how long have you been in business? Uh, this location, we've been here for about a year and a half. Of course, Segovia's been around a long time. It has, it has. It's, uh, we have our original location a mile down the road. It's been open there for about 37 years. Second location opened about 10 years ago down a Little Ferry. And this is the newest to the, the, the addition of the Segovia family. So it looked pretty busy tonight in here. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was nonstop since 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So, um, what are we getting tonight for the tasting? So tonight, there's going to be a couple of different things from appetizers to entrees. Uh, you know, we have our, our signature appetizers or tapas, shared plates, as well as some of our signature dishes, uh, as well as our featured desserts that we make in-house. And what is the signature dish here? Our signature dish, I would have to say, would be the paella marinara. It's, uh, that's what we specialize in. That's our traditional uh, uh, dish that we've been serving for the past uh, 30 plus years. Francesco. Francisco. Francesco. Sorry. So what do you do here? You're a right-hand man? Yes, uh, I'm the floor manager. Um, I've been with the, uh, with the Segovia family for 15 years, uh, working along with Anthony. Um, it's been a pleasure and it's been an excitement, an excitement through uh, the years. Uh, all what we do here is entertain our guests, make sure everything is on point and give provide all what I do best, which is happy meals. <laughs> we do. For every viewers that mention dining out in New Jersey, please have a tres leches that we make in house on us. Wow. Tres leches, the best on town. So it is a it, it is a bourbon from Buffalo Trace Distillery, one of my favorites. Uh, with a sweet vermouth, a little simple sear to sweeten it up, and then we incorporate smoke into it, and we use a uh, dirty cherry, the Chardonnay cherry just to take it to the next level. No, these are the Lachara black cherries. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of restaurants uh, use the maraschino cherries. To me, it, it makes a difference when using a product cherry, a black cherry from the Lachara uh, brand that takes uh, Manhattan from here to here. Definitely makes the difference. What is that? It looks like a flamethrower. Actually, it is a smoker. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. We're going to use hickory wood chips right here. This is a really, really good a bourbon. Uh, bourbon represents what is all, America is all about it. I'm gonna be use about an ounce of uh, an, a bourbon. So, what is that? That's a uh, sweet vermouth. Okay. And is a little yellow. You want yellow to do the five star review. Can we say mentioned dining out in New Jersey? And there's our smoke. We have smoke. What is this called? So this is a noble Manhattan? No, this is machine. So that's that's the real uh, smoking gun. So that's how we incorporate smoke into the, into our, our cocktails. So this is my first no bull. No bull. No bull Manhattan. It's got it's got smoke and everything. Let's give it a try. No, no, it's really, it's really good. You know, I'm not a drinker. This is really good. I like it. Wow, this is strong. I love the flavor. It's so unique. I haven't tasted this one before. This is so nice. Something you just want to like sip slow and enjoy every bit of it. Yeah, got this really weird cherry. What is this called? That's a lot dirty, a dirty cherry, black cherry Lachardo. This is pretty cool. Seriously. Oh, <laughs> dirty job I have here. So I'm going to try these sardines from a can. Really nice, very smooth, no fishy taste at all. And here's the steamed mussel in olive oil. Oh, 
Oh, that's really good. You're gonna like that one. What we have here are mussel, Spanish mussels from the Cantabrian Sea, which is colder than the Atlantic, so the texture is different. So we're gonna give it a shot. My mother's from Naples, my boss. And yes, I still make my tomato sauce. Beautiful. Absolutely delicious. Very, and you're right, very different. Those are um, sardines. Excuse me, uh, um, sardines are canned, tiny. Very good. Yes, they're not fishy. That was hard. And that basically was showcased on that. That was one of our dishes. They're making me eat white anchovies. Now, I'm not racist, but I'll give it a shot. Tastes more like herring. Uh, I don't really hear it from it. That's very good. I like anchovies. Oh, that's a rich filet. That's very chewy. That's nice. Next on the list is this tuna on top of potato salad. I'm dying to try that. I've got this Spanish potato salad with uh, tuna belly and uh, Looks good, and everybody says it's good. So, oh yeah, <laughs> I wish I could make that for tuna salad. Man, is that good? Oh, that's very good. That's very good. What is it? There, it's a shakuri from uh, uh, Spain, cured meats. Uh, so we have uh, three different types of um, uh, cured uh, ham or jamón. We have our ibérico, which is the first round, and then we got our serrano, which is the second. And then we got our Iberico Lomo, which is the, the, the loin, the pork loin of the, the fat content on it, the first row over here. It's almost nutty, the fat. It's um, uh, pigs from Alentejo, the, the black hook, the, the, the bay of that, pata negras, or black hook pigs, uh, in New Jersey and, and, and you know, serve it here at a restaurant. We're not there yet, but uh, hopefully in the future we get to work in a hide, right? Pork tenderloin, take one. Do I have enough light on me? Yes. Am I not the whitest person in the room? You are, Casper. <laughs> Domino's Fabisco. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to like that. That's really good. Mommy, look at this sardine. I'm not going to eat the head. You're not going to eat the head? You're going to eat this like a corn on the cob? Corn on the cob. I saw you with the corn on the cob. <laughs> One shrimp being eaten. Uh, a choripan. Choripan. It's a choripan. So it's a chorizo sandwich. I will put a shrimp in there too. And a shrimp to go with it. Camarones. Mm. Okay, ready. Oh. Take one. Mm. Oh. oh, it's still oh. alive. Delicious. <laughs> this is my favorite. It has a little bit of spice. Perfect temperature. Mm. Mm. I'm going to have some more. Uh, the heads and tails always got to go somewhere, and we're not going to throw it We're at Segovia Maison in Karlstad. Um, we're having a little party with some tapas. We just had some shrimp, some octopus, some chorizo. This is some of the shrimp. It's so perfectly seasoned. We have to get down here and join us. All right, the next course up was octopi. So um, this is smoked. I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, that melts in your mouth. Oh, that's so wonderful. Oh, <laughs> chorizo, take one. I love chorizo. Oh, and these are really grand, too. You're gonna like this. I'm gonna try the filet mignon empanada with a little chimichurri on top. Let's see how this goes. They're a little hot. Yeah, Oh, it's got a beautiful, beautiful crunch. Nice flaky pastry. Mm. Chimichurri is delicious. I'm loving this. Fresh shrimp, lots of garlic, and oil sauteed together. Mm. Exquisite. You really do want that. And pulpo or octopus. They boil it and then they saute it and marinate it in olive oil and Spanish paprika. It is so tender and so delicious. I love octopus. This is a great version of it. The empanadas are amazing. Their version empanada filled with filet mignon and spices 
and they serve this homemade chimichurri sauce, which isn't really Spanish, it's South American, but it, let's see what it does. It works. <laughs> Went to River Palm the night before Thanksgiving. Amazing meal. The next day went to the man. The wind murder was a guy we didn't see for the cocktail hour. Good. We got our reaction. Sherman, New York cut, Sherman. Check out this tuna. So they brought out the sirloin, sliced sirloin steak, and you know how much I like steak. Oh, this is tender. Oh, this is really good. Seared tuna, and it's sashimi quality, and I like sashimi, and I like tuna, and let's, let's see how the Spaniards do. Oh. You're not gonna like this. This is so good. Oh, man. And potatoes, you know I love potatoes. Spanish potatoes, take one. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Natalie. Happy birthday to you. Oh, this is my favorite. This translation. My favorite. I love it. It's absolutely delicious. Six month manchego with quince paste. Whoa. Quince are like pears. So this has got that really wonderful fruit taste and not too sweet. Perfect complement to the manchego. The three milk cake. This is the signature dish from Segovia Maison. Oh man. Oh, wrap your mouth around that. You're going to go home happy. I'm here at Segovia. The Maison Segovia here in Karlstadt. And you saw what we ate, you saw everything, everything. They gave us soup to nuts here. It was wonderful. When you come down here, they have their own parking, they got a full bar, and you definitely want to try that. B no BS. No bull. No bull. Uh, Manhattan. With you saw them make it. It was wonderful. And remember, never eat on an empty stomach. You're allowed to bring two guests. Every day. Every day. The same person. Every That's day. Like oh my God. You're so moist. Every it's just melts in your mouth. This is like a very intimate moment that I'm having here. Oh, uh, well, it's the wet <laughs> spot in your mouth. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Ready? We're rolling. But you would love it. Oh my gosh. Absolutely decadent. Like divine. Melts in my mouth. Not in my hand. No, no, no. Not like that. Oh my gosh. Olives. They were so nice. The best olives I've ever eaten in any of the restaurants today. You have to try the olives over here. Listen, everything was just so good. I don't have a favorite. Everything was a favorite. <laughs> and the, uh, what's the guy's name? Anthony. Anthony? He was amazing. He knew, he knew what he was talking about. He was amazing.